Okay, so in this video we will do the experience when running CoReader better on the WeWoods AI Paper Reader, but also it works on the AI Paper Mini too, so let's begin. So here we have my table cam, and here we have my two WeWoods devices I own. This is the WeWoods AI Paper Reader, black and white, and this is the WeWoods AI Paper Mini, black and white. So these two devices are excellent, I really love them. And I usually use CoReader when reading, so I have CoReader on both these and that's why I have the cover image on the front when in sleep mode, because you can set that in CoReader. So if you have a WeWoods AI Paper device, then you usually want to use the screen refresh gesture like this as you saw there uh, to remove some ghosting if you get ghosting usually i don't get ghosting in co-reader actually but sometimes when using menus like this and so on maybe you get some ghosting so now if i want to clean this i want to do this and that gesture works on all WeWoods devices. Uh, it's built in into the OS on WeWoods devices. So you don't need to set that up. But usually in CoReader when you do so, the menu opens. Because when you swipe down from the top of CoReader, the menu opens. And if you refresh the display at the same time as the menu is open, then you don't remove the ghosting. So if if you want to do that, you need to turn off one thing in the settings in CoReader. So let's go here. I need my glasses. <laughs> so to see something, here we have the settings in CoReader. So if we now go to the gear icon, we have a feature, a setting called taps and gestures. If we go into that, we have down here, activate menu so if you have activate menu here and if you have with a swipe on then you can't use that gesture because then you will have ghosting anyway so let's see what happens then if you do so you see the menu opens in co-reader so now you need to refresh again when the menu is gone away again so now when i do a refresh the menu opens and you don't can you can't do a refresh so that is the setting you need to turn off in taps and gestures you need to go to activate menu remove with a swipe and only have with a tap so now you can do that gesture. And while you are in this menu, remove auto show button menu too, because that means that the button menu opens also. So uh, now this menu will also open if you have that setting on. So when you are in this menu, just turn that off too. So activate menu, only have with a tap deactivate with a swipe and out to show button menu so now when i do a refresh of the display by doing so then you can clean all the ghosting you have with just a swipe like this works great so that works also on the ai paper mini exactly the same thing so now you can refresh the display by doing so one thing that works also in WeWoods AI Paper Mini uh, with a gesture that is pretty nifty to know about is that you can raise and lower the brightness. Uh, as you see here, I can set the brightness by doing this with my finger. As you see here, works great. Now at 100 and now I can go down again to have the brightness completely disabled and this is also nifty and that feature you can change in CoReader to have activated on the WeWoods Air Paper Reader. 
So if you go up into the same menu again, and you go into tabs and gestures, you then go into gesture manager. Here, you will find one finger swipe menu. Go into that. Here you see, if you swipe left edge down, decrease front light brightness. Left edge up, increase front light brightness. So you can actually set that here in the screen and lights setting. Decrease front light brightness. So you can do all those things in the gesture manager. So that works really, really great. That is also one tip for having a better experience on your WeWoo's AI paper device. So, and also you can do page turns like so with taps and swipes. You can choose tap zones, top and bottom. And I have top and bottom and I have 100% back and forward set to tap zone, null, 0% and 100%. So I can tap anywhere on the display to go forward in the book. But to go back in the book, I need to swipe back. That is how I want it, because then I can tap anywhere on the display and go forward in the book. So, and as I said, it works on uh, the We Will Say a Paper Mini too, by just swipe down with the finger, like so. But you can't set the front light with this on the We Will Say a Paper Mini. It doesn't work, and I don't know why. But uh, you see, you can raise, but nothing happens on the display when doing so. It's still on brightness zero. So uh, you can do that swipe, but you can't raise the brightness, unfortunately. But that was it for this video, I think. So. Uh, I hope this video could help some with, uh, I have seen uh, questions on Reddit and uh, discussions on Reddit that they can't use that uh, swipe refresh uh, gesture in on the We Will Say a Paper Reader because uh, uh, the menu starts in co-reader and uh, I think uh, this could help those persons, these people that doesn't know about that setting in the menu of co-reader. Okay. Bye.